That is Money Making Patrick. This is the live results from a domain auction that happened yesterday. And today, we're going to talk about how backlinks affect your search engine rankings, how to get them, and how they make your domain price go through the roof. But what does that have to do with Patrick? Well, if Patrick had a bunch of friends, and they all had websites saying that Money Making Patrick is cool, with links back to Patrick's website, then Google would boost Patrick's rankings up for Money Making Patrick is cool. I know it seems oversimplified, which is why today's video is a full-on backlink crash course. Crash course. Crash course. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the live show. Today, what we're going to do is talk about backlinks. How do backlinks work? How do backlinks help us get better search engine rankings? And what are we going to do with these backlinks after we get them? So today, we got a really good show for you. We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff, including a domain name with backlinks that went on sale a couple days ago and sold for $10,001. And you're going to want to make sure you watch this entire video for a gold mine secret tip. We got lots of good stuff for you today. If you've been trying to get free traffic from the search engines and nothing seems to be working, you're going to want to listen up to this entire video because we're going to talk to you about everything backlinks. We actually went through and watched videos on backlinks from competitor videos and other people out there. And what we found was kind of less than stellar. It wasn't really that good. It was kind of confusing. It was kind of difficult and it was hard to navigate what's actually going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to talk to you about the truth about backlinks. We're going to show you some tips if you don't want to go out there and try to get rankings and links from people and beg for stuff and work for the rest of your life to get like five visitors. We're going to talk to you about some real ways to make this work, including some ways that I'm making this work right now live in front of you that's right ladies and gentlemen we are going to show you all kinds of good stuff including things that are working right now now a lot of people say hey just go to fiverr or something and buy some backlinks but this can actually be detrimental there's a time and place to like buy links but this seo stuff is not the time or the place in my opinion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip past all this and we're gonna talk about the real world stuff because there are people out there charging $2,500 a month, $10,000 a month or more to get you backlinks to your site. I remember years ago when I paid a search engine guy like $10,000 to get me rankings. Yeah, he got me rankings, but I was like number 100 for words that got three visitors a month. So it didn't work out that well. Now. What you're going to learn today is tons of tips about backlinking. We're going to show you some strategies that actually work, some strategies that you can use to get results right now. If you want my, my notes and my 41 backlink strategy list, check out downloadmynotes.com. If you want to get training from me, check out blogprofitnetwork.com. Now, in order to understand how backlinks work, we need to travel back in time. So let's get in our metaphorical DeLorean and travel back to the year 2003. In the year 2003, I was a 23-year-old guy trying to make a living online. And I actually was making a living online, and I was testing lots of new things. And back in 2003, this is what the ClickBank login page looked like. Interesting, right? It's like, there it is. There's a login page. Looks a little bit different today. Now, back in 2003, they actually allowed you to buy a link on the login page of ClickBank. And I thought to myself, well, hey, this is going to cost me about 750 bucks a month, which at that time, you know, I wasn't making a ton of money. So that was kind of a big deal. And so I saved up the money and I got up the, the courage to put my ad on the ClickBank login page. And I put this ad up. And I sat around and I didn't get that many sales. I was like, wait a minute. So I invested $750 and I didn't get that many sales. Didn't get all that much traffic. And in order to test this, to know what was going on, I built a new website just for my ClickBank ad. 
And it's like, okay, cool. Now, back in 2003, I don't know if you guys remember, but the way it worked back in 2003 is you had search engines like Google and stuff like that. Google was like the big one you wanted to get listed in. Now, in order to get listed, what you had to do is either submit your site or wait for what was called back then, this is gonna date me for those of you who know SEO stuff, it was called the Google Dance. And every couple months, like three to six months, Google would do its little dance. It was like a spider, right? That's why they call it a web crawler. And my spider is not as cute as some spiders out there. But the spider would go out there and he had his big old eyes and he was looking for different websites that are new. And he would go out there and he'd do his little dance throughout the web. It'd take a couple of days. And at the end of his dance, he would pick up new sites. Now, the way that he picked up new sites was important. Because what he would do, instead of back in the old days when you submitted your site, which still worked back then, but it took forever, what would happen is the Google spider, all right, we'll make a cute spider this time. There we go. All right, spiders have eight legs, right? There we go. There we go. All right, so we have the Google spider, and the Google spider would go, and he would try to find websites he already knew about. So he's like, hey, I already know about, like, CNN.com, and I already know about... Uh, this other website over here. And I already know about like Yahoo directory. And I already know about like DMOZ and stuff back then. And he would go and be like, well, I already know about these sites. So if these sites have links on them that are new, new link, new link, what would happen is he would crawl and do his little dance. And pretty soon, within days, weeks, sometimes months, you'd be listed on Google. Now, Back to my story in 2003, and this is important, and if you want to get backlinks, pay close attention. Because back then, I had put this ad on the ClickBank login page just to try to get sales. But I noticed that because I built a brand new website, right, this was brand new. Back in the day, you had to wait forever for a brand new website to get picked up by Google for the reasons I just told you here. Now, back then, Google, the spider, already knew about the ClickBank website because the ClickBank website's been around since 1999. They were pretty big. They got lots of traffic. What I didn't know is unknown to me, this link on the ClickBank login page actually got my new website indexed in Google really fast. So I got this idea and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out with this idea of getting people listed. So I just got listed by being on the ClickBank login page. Therefore, if you wanna pay me, I think it was like 57 bucks back then, what I would do is I would get you listed. And here's how it worked. It was very simple. And if you understand this, you'll understand backlinks and you're gonna love the rest of this training because it's all gonna make sense. So what we did is I said, okay, so here I am. Here's the Google spider. Here he is. All right, and he's out there and he's missing a leg. Let's give him another leg. So he's happy, there we go. And he's out there and he's like, hey, I already know that the ClickBank site exists. I, I know that, that's good. All right, and let's get the spider in here. There he is. Gotta have the spider in there, right? And he already knew that the ClickBank site existed. He already knew that the ClickBank login page existed. And then on the ClickBank login page, there was all these new links, right? Here they are. Here's what the new links look like. Now. What happened was it took the new links and it indexed the new links in Google. Now, what I did is I said, well, wait a minute. If they picked me up, and here's the exact thing here. You can look it up in the Wayback Machine. You can actually check it out to see what I'm saying is actually how it happened back then. And what happened was this link went to my new website, which is loading. Back then it was new, right? And hopefully it'll load a little bit quicker. Let's see, let's try to reload this guy here. And the website would actually go through, maybe we could do it quicker this way. There we go, okay, cool. So the website would actually go through and it was like, hey, here it is, from the desk of Marcus Campbell, that's me, right? And we were talking about all this website stuff. We got lots of people, a lot of rankings. This is actually how I met Frank Kern and lots of other marketers. Uh, they all came to me for my services. And they were like, hey, your traffic is awesome. You're getting lots of traffic. It's cool. And it's free. And so what happened was I said, well, I'm going to take this page that's listed on the ClickBank page, which got picked up quickly. And I am going to put links at the bottom. And these were all 
my clients here, right? This one was a braces one and child custody laws and all this other stuff. And so what I did was I actually got these links and I charged people. I was like, hey, for 57 bucks, you can have a link on my webpage. You'll get picked up by Google really fast. And the idea was the spider already knew ClickBank existed. Then it knew that um, the ClickBank landing page existed. And because of that, it looked at my site and it looked at all the links on my site, picked them up, put them in Google, bada bing, bada bang, they got rankings. I was pretty happy. Okay, now does everyone understand how that process worked? If you get it, in the comments type get it, in the chat box type get it, and we're gonna go through and show you how this works in a real world way. Because if you understand that, that's where my SEO knowledge came from. It's not that much different today. I know people are like, well, Marcus, you don't understand. You know, the old metaverse is coming to town. And I'm like, yeah, but it's the same exact thing as everything else, right? They, like Solomon said back in the Bible times, there's nothing new under the sun. It's all based on the same thing. And if you follow along, here's another little tip that helped me understand backlinks. That'll probably help you understand backlinks too. When Google started, it was a bunch of college guys, right? They were out here and they're like, yeah, bro, instead of going to the frat party, we're gonna build this thing called Google so that we could be billionaires, right? And so they went out there and they're like, we're gonna build this thing. Now, leaning on the college knowledge, hey, that rhymes, pretty cool. You didn't think you'd get a free rap today, right? But leaning on the college knowledge, what you would do, and I never went to college, so correct me if I miss anything here. What we did is we went through and we were like, hey, check this out. We write a paper and you have your college paper and your college paper is about the best shoes for basketball, the BSB, best shoes for basketball. And you had your article here and you're like, hey, Michael Jordan wears these, this guy wears these, whatever. Now, at the bottom of your paper, what you would do is you would cite resources and those resources would talk about people. Oh, hey, this is from Dr. Basketball Man. This is from Dr. Shoal, I think he does shoes, right? Or whatever. And so they would have these links. Now, if a bunch of papers came back to the old professor and he's like, hey, they're all writing about basketball shoes and they're all saying that Dr. Shoal is the guy. Now, what would happen is people would naturally say, well, doc Dr. Shoal must know a thing or two about basketball shoes. Okay, this is the same thing. This is how Google works. But instead of citing a resource and just having it there, it's what's called a link. And they put a link and they're like, hey, Dr. Scholl's site over here, this is where I got this info. Dr. B over here, this is where I got the info. Boom, bang, done. Super, super simple. And if you understand this, the rest of this training is gonna make a lot more sense for you. All right, so what we did is we went through and we made this work. Very simple, very easy. Now, someone said that this was like a link farm. Not exactly. This was actually relevant links that people put on the site. A link farm is more or less like just a bunch of junk. Okay, now, what we have to understand is how this works. Now, will this method work today? Yes, it will work today. Should you sell links like I did for 57 bucks? Hell no. That was my 23-year-old brain trying to make uh, money. Now, why would you not do that today? Well, for one, they're not relevant. For two, $57 is nothing. For three, why don't you keep all the link juice to you? Because what happens here is there's power in these links, right? There's power in the links. Now, we're gonna talk about how this works and, and, and kind of show you examples of what's going on, all right? Because I want you to understand this so you can go out and get traffic and see exactly what's going on. And if you like this, smash a like button, let me know, because it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more technical of a training, but I think you're gonna get it if you stick around to the end. You're gonna get some things other people don't get. Now, when you look at this here, all right, this is the domain that went on sale. I think it was, it started at like 15 bucks and it ended up selling for $10,001. Now, the question is, why did this domain sell for $10,000? Was it because it was LasVegasLimo.com? Well, maybe, maybe not, right? Maybe. You could look up limo uh, domain sales. Like if we go to uh, GoDaddy appraisals, okay, 
and we go to GoDaddy appraisals. I'll show you this in just a second. All right, we go to GoDaddy appraisals like this, and we do, uh, let's shrink it down here, and we do something like limo. Let's do Las Vegas limo dot com okay what you're gonna see is that they say las vegas limo is worth 6500 bucks however it sold for 10 grand hollywood limo 7500 boca boca raton limo chicago limo so they are pretty good and and listen up we're gonna show you how this works and i'm gonna show you a hack to find domains that people will pay a lot for right so not only are you gonna learn my backlinking tips but I'm also gonna show you something that actually you could go and buy domains and sell them. Now, very important. Why was this domain worth a lot? Well, this domain was worth a lot because of the fact that it had backlinks, okay? This is very important because when we look at this, we're gonna go through and we're gonna type Las Vegas Limo in our Ahrefs keyword tool. Now, when we look at Las Vegas Limo, we can see that they had some rankings. They're not that great. He ranked number 92 for Las Vegas limo. He ain't getting any traffic. That sucks. But if we take a look down here at his organic keywords, okay, Las Vegas limousines, Las Vegas. Okay, good. So he does have some rankings here. They are recent. Not that great. But again, that's not really what we're paying attention to. What we're paying attention to is the backlinks. Now, the backlinks are links that go to his site. Now, remember how we talked about the links that go to the site. Like, if everyone says that Dr. Scholl knows about basketball shoes, then that's the key. Like, uh, the Google's going to be like, hey, he must, he must know about him. Let's rank him at the top. Now, if all these sites start to say Las Vegas limo is a good limo place or whatever, right? Vegas unzip, time out. Um, we got some weird one. We got uh, another weird one. Yellow cab. I explore Vegas, TripAdvisor, Lyft, uh, all kinds of stuff, okay? So what we have here is we have a, no, a domain that is worth money, and we have backlinks that are worth money as well. Now, when we pay attention to this, this is very important because not all backlinks are created equal. Let me say that again. Not all backlinks are created equal. There are some backlinks that work better than others, okay? So let's talk about this. Again, uh, we're gonna be using the Ahrefs tool and this is a screenshot from Ahrefs. They did a bunch of studies on backlinks and follow links and no follow links. And I wanna ask you a question right now and I wanna see how many people get this right. What is the best type of backlink? Put it in the comments below, put it in the chat box. I wanna see if you guys can follow along here and understand this, all right? What, in your opinion, is the best type of backlink? All right, you got uh, search traffic, do follow, referring links, back, what do you think the best type of backlink is? Right, is it like on Medium? Is it on a directory listing? Would it be on a news site, a press release? And we're gonna talk about all these. KWM says follow links. Okay, maybe. Uh, Susan says niche relevant. Okay, what else we got? Jason says .gov or edu. Jen says follow. OD says mainstream uh, media. CF says niche relevant. Follow links, keyword and URL related to niche. Okay, good. If you said relevant to your niche, bingo, you win. Because if I have a bunch of relevant links, like if I'm doing a recipe site and I'm on a bunch of recipe sites, that's going to work, right? If, I'm a, if I have a recipe site and I'm on a bunch of spam sites, that's not going to work. This is why buying backlinks doesn't work. But if you got money to spend and you want something, just sit tight. I'm going to show you how this works. Because there is a shortcut. Now, when we look at this, they're saying that actually do follow backlinks, do somewhat work. Interesting, okay? So we're gonna look at this. Next up, we're gonna look at the difference. What's the difference between a follow and a nofollow link? Well, if you're using something like Medium, what happens is there's a different type of link, okay? We have what's called a follow link, okay? A follow link 
is a link where if I just go to my website and I'm like, hey, I'm going to link over here to Bob's site, bob123.com or whatever. Okay, this is a link that the search engines follow. What does that mean? What that means is like this here. All right, if this guy has a website and he has links to Dr. Scholl, that's a follow link. Now, if he says, well, wait a minute, I don't want to give any websites any of my link juice, right? This is power. This in the old day was called PageRank. They still call it PageRank today. It's just a little bit different. What would happen is if a bunch of big sites linked to your site, they would pass through the value of the links. And the more links you had and the more powerful the links were, the more powerful your site became, which is why you see a rating, right? So like this here, Vegas Unzipped has a 36 domain rating. This one has an 89. Now, is it better to get a link on this one or this one? Well, we don't know. We don't know what is the better one until we do the research and look at how many of the links they have. Because here's the deal. If there's a site that's really important, like CNN, okay, or Fox, these are big sites. They're, they're very important. If they have a web page and this web page is really important, let's call it like the big page or whatever. Okay. And they have like their video and they have their news. And then down here they have links. If they have 100 links on a big site, that means it gets diluted. If they only have one link, that means it gets powerful. Okay. So the less links, usually the better and follow links is what we're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and say, okay, there's a difference between this. Now, if you're confused, don't worry. There's some hacks to making this work. Like I'm not a big backlink guy. I don't go out and look for backlinks all day. What I do is a very, very easy hack to getting backlinks. Now, the first hack we're going to look at is going out there and making content that people are going to want to link to, right? So here's the deal. Like I could go out there and I could say, okay, I'm going to make something of value. Maybe I'll make a PDF or maybe I'll make like uh, mine. How many of you guys use my blog theme? Simple blog theme, okay? Or I make a video or a software tool or whatever it is. Okay, these are easy ways to get backlinks because not only can I get backlinks because people are gonna link to them, but I can also put them on directory sites, right? Like software directories or whatever, okay? Very, very important and very easy to look at. We gotta look at this and we gotta understand what we're gonna do. So an easy way to get backlinks, sort of, is to make really good content. That's pretty simple. Everyone knows that. Now, step number four or part four, we have 41 easy backlink methods. Now, I'm not going to go through all 41 here. You can go to downloadmynotes.com. You can download the whole list of 41. Now, some of them are going to include, and we're going to show you how this works, even though some are no follow links, they still do work to boost you up. It's very important. Sorry, my allergies are getting my eyes today. All right. So downloadmynotes.com, you're going to learn about those. Now, here are some of them. You could do press releases. Now, for press releases, just yesterday, I was talking to one of my boot camp students, and he did a press release. Check it out. His press release actually started ranking for a lot of this stuff within hours. Now, I want you to focus on this because a lot of people talk a big game about backlinks, but at the end of the day, why do we get backlinks? Right? At the end of the day, why the hell do I get backlinks? Like a dude on the road, I'm not like, hey, dude, you want some backlinks? He's like, what the hell are you talking about? My back's fine, right? He doesn't care, but you care. And the question is, why do you care? Why do you care about backlinks? All right, very important. This is a question that you need to get because most people will answer that and say, because the gurus tell me I need backlinks. Right? All these guys tell me I need backlinks. All these notes say I need backlinks. Well, where is the notes? The notes are somewhere. There they are. Right? All these notes say I need backlinks. But why? Why do we need backlinks? Okay, someone says to increase DA so Google will say, see your site as more important so that you have good content. 
Okay, what's the real reason? The real reason is because you want website traffic. You want to make money. You need traffic. That's the only reason. So if I could bypass it and just get traffic, why wouldn't I do that? That's why people ask me, they say, Marcus, you know, why do you like paid traffic? Well, because it's quick and it's easy and I just buy it. If it's profitable, it's profitable. I'm a businessman. Okay. And you need to be a business person if you're going to run a business. Like you're here and you're like, I want to make money. Therefore, I need traffic. Therefore, I need this stuff. Now, the gurus and everyone got a bunch of noise and it goes in your head and you get all discombobbled and you forget the main point of everything. The main point is to get traffic. That's it. So like this guy here, I told him, I said, hey, buddy, you know, your press release, I think we got it open here somewhere. Let's see where it's at. That's the limo one. This is something else. Uh, where'd we go? I know I had it somewhere. And we're going to talk about that domain too. Um, but yeah, you have to understand how this works. So with this guy, he's got his press release out there. And I think I can find it. Let's see, PR web. I believe it was. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is his press release right here. Okay. And what he did is he had this factsforsupplement.org, which is his site. Now, he put this in the beginning, which isn't exactly the greatest way to go about it. But it does allow you to see where he shows up, right? And so if we go uh, site colon uh, factsforsupplement.com, you could see where he shows up. Or you could even just do in quotes, and this will show all the press releases uh, that have his site. PR web, uh, the tech post, um, all these other ones, right? So you can kind of see where he's at, what's going on. Now, what's important for me as a website owner business guy is to look at where the traffic is at, all right? So if he has this press release and it's ranking for this stuff, what I told him yesterday, and this is the kind of advice you get if you're on Blog Profit Network or my other coaching, I told him, I said, look, you need to revamp your press release, get rid of your URL, and you need to go for the keywords that you're ranking for because these are the rankings for his press release. So what you need to do is you got to focus on the guerrilla mode stuff. Because you got 28,000 people a month, 50,000 people a month, low competition, you're already ranking, and you will get some of that pass through. And even if not, as a businessman, I don't care if I rank my press release and I get the traffic, it doesn't matter, right? It's, it's, it's six of one, a half a dozen of another. It doesn't matter to me. But so many people get hyped up on this SEO game that they get confused. But we have to look at it and we have to look at it objectively and say, well, at the end of the day, my goal is traffic. And I'm going to show you a hack where I literally went out there and I got a site. Um, I think you guys have seen the Nerd Getting Fit site. Let me pull that up for you. A lot of people have been asking about that. So we go to Ahrefs. We put in nerdgettingfit.com. And for nerdgettingfit.com, you're going to see... Check this out. We got some domain authority, a little bit, nothing huge. We got some backlinks. And over here, if it decides to load today, over here, let's reload it. Over here, we have uh, organic keywords, all right? I think there's like 800 of them or something, right? And I didn't even do that much content on this. I can do a lot better. But when we look at organic keywords, look. We got a number 12, number 11, number 15, 13, and we got all this traffic here coming from these keywords that are really easy to get. And I'm not even on my game here. I've been like waffling on this site. But what we can see here is these are ranking and I'm getting traffic. Like right now, this site is getting traffic. All right, we got backlinks. Now, when we take a look at the backlinks, I wanna show you something really cool. Because when we go here, remember how I said like news sites and relevant sites are really good? Check this out. Here's a news site with a relevant page about dieting, right? And we go through and we're like, okay, um, you can go through and you could actually see links. Here's a backlink to Nerd Getting Fit. Here's a backlink 
to, uh, I think that's an internal page, but nerd getting fit right there. Here's another one, metabolism. And we're going through. Now, does anyone know the difference between these sites that are going to the NBC page and this site that's going to nerd getting fit? What these are called is these are called internal links. This is a backlink. So when we look at this, we could see here he is on a podcast. Here he is on uh, sites like. Here's one on heel. Here's one on uh, some kind of reps, like working out reps. Here's one for athletics. Here's one for um, other stuff, right? And we look at this and we're like, hey, check this out. Now we got some backlinks. Now we're getting some traffic. Now, here's the catcher. The kicker is I got all this stuff within 24 hours. How many of you guys are like, wait a minute, you got all those backlinks in 24 hours or less? How the hell did you do that? Did you buy them? No, not exactly. We're going to talk to you about it in a minute. So when we look at this, we have press releases, Wikipedia, right? Like some of these have Wikipedia. I know that uh, there was one I was looking at earlier, which was for, it was this one, factsaboutmexico.com. Okay. Now again, Estimated value of the domain is $232, according to GoDaddy. But it's on sale right now. It's got an hour left. It's $3,500. Is it worth $3,500? I don't know. Depends on what you're going to do with the traffic. Depends on what's there. But if we take a look at this, look at the backlinks. Wikipedia. 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 Travel tips. Uh, Wikipedia, lots of Wikipedias here, lots of travel tips, lots of different things about what goes on in Mexico. Now, if we look at this, we could also see that there's lots of stuff, right? So I looked at some of the Wikipedia stuff and I found out that some of it is for like religion in Mexico, religion in Mexico. Uh, and I went through and said, okay, let's take a look at the page that they're linking to. This is a page they're linking to. Well, it's actually ranking for like religions in Mexico. Now, as a businessman, I have to be thinking, what am I gonna do with this traffic? Or what am I gonna do with it? Okay, more about that in a minute. Keep watching, it's gonna get good. Here we have other stuff for um, the Mexico site. You can see lots and lots of different backlinks, which is pretty cool, like traditions, foods, different things like that. Okay, so we go through and we're like, hey, this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty cool. Let's make this work. Okay, is this making sense to everyone? If it's making sense, let me know. And we'll show you how this works in a real world way. So when we have stuff like that, we could see that Wikipedia, directories, forums, guest blogging, images and infographics like Pinterest. Yes, Pinterest can be a good backlink. There are people that rank just because they're on Pinterest. You could also do guest blogging or sponsored posts. Okay, very important. Sponsored posts are really good. Uh, you can buy them. You go to a page that has good uh, domain authority. You say, hey, I'll pay you uh, to do a sponsored post. Or sometimes you can even do guest blogging for free. You could do interviews. Social media links can be important. And again, remember, I don't care if the press release ranks, the social media ranks, or whatever ranks, as long as I get the traffic. That's very important. A lot of people miss this because they're like, oh, I just want to do SEO the way that the SEO people do it. Okay, and that's fine. That's good. That's great. Do that for long term because what people are doing, here's the deal. And this is why you're going to find my training a lot different than other people is because I have no patience. I don't have any patience. I want to put something up and I want to get ranked in 48 hours. Now, most people are out there and they're like, hey, if you do a 24 to 48 month plan, okay, you could make this work, okay? But there are ways to get in a lot quicker. There are ways, like people say, oh, you gotta wait six months for Google to start to index you. Well, not if you do it right. If you do it right, you can put your link on a high powered page, you could get picked up instantly, and you could theoretically get ranked instantly if you have the right keyword, right? Like people saw. When I went through and I did the nerd getting fit site, right? That one got ranked. I think it was in a day or something. Let me see what it was. It was like three days after I took it over. Uh, something like that. Let's see here. It was movements. I think it was November 3rd. And then I put the content up on like the 8th or the 10th. So you could see here, 
These are all the rankings we're getting and the ones that fluctuate. All right. And then if we go down to November, next page, I think, you can actually see when I picked it up and when it got ranked. Uh, here we go. So September, October, November 3rd, I think, is when it dropped. So see the gap? See how it's like every day almost until the gap from the 3rd to the 11th. So from the 3rd to the 11th, it had pretty much nothing. Then, boom, I started picking up abs in three months. How long does it take to get abs? So within hours, I started ranking for how long does it take to get abs, which has 3,900 searches a month. I got a number 11 ranking, and I don't know about you, but that's a money keyword. Like, that's a keyword I could sell stuff. Now, when we're looking at other things, like this one, facts about Mexico, I have to look at this and say, okay, for the keywords, you know, is this stuff that I really want? Because a lot of SEO gurus, they're going to tell you to get stuff like Mexican candy. Okay, what can I do with that? Not a whole lot. 538 searches a month. You know, I could sell candy, but like, what am I going to make? Five bucks? You know, I'm not here to make five bucks. So for me, if I had an end game, maybe like a travel to Mexico plan, that could work. Okay, very important. So I could do that. If I wanted to build this into a travel site and take a different direction, yes, the backlinks and the stuff would carry on if I was to buy this site. Okay, is everyone following along? Smash a like button if you're following along. I need to see lots of likes to make sure I know that you guys are getting this stuff. I want to make sure that you get it before we go further because some of the stuff that we're going to get into, some of the really good tactics and strategies, they hinge on what you've learned so far. So I want to make sure that you're following. All right, so let me know if you're following. I'm going to grab some coffee here. And we'll keep going. All right, so let's see that like button light up. Tell me you're following. Let's get the show on the road here. All right. So we can take a look at this and we're like, okay, good. Uh, social media. We could resource um, our pages. We could repurpose our content. We can do list content, audio files, anything and everything that we can go out there and position somewhere. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. You need to do this strategically. Right? We're not just out there. That's why you go up here and people are like, oh, let's just buy backlinks. Just buy some backlinks. Just go to free ad forum. Nah. No, 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 no. We need to be strategic. This here, getting a link on ClickBank for something that ClickBank people want, it should be so relevant that the traffic will be valuable. Right? Like if I'm on the NBC page for how to lose weight and I got a weight loss site, that's relevant. If I'm on ClickBank for how to get ranked, that's relevant to what they're doing. It's about make money. So we have to look at this. we got to understand it, and we have to look at it differently and strategically in terms of what we're going to do. If you were going to set up a limo site, if I was out there and I bought this domain for $10,000 and I built it up as a giant Las Vegas limo directory, could I sell it for ten grand or more? Yeah, I think so. Could I take that traffic and make more than 10,000 bucks? Yeah, I think so. All I'd need to do is make like 30 bucks a day or something. And there we go. Okay, so we got to understand this and we have to look at it. Now, why is this valuable? Why would this be valuable? And maybe something like facts about Mexico might not be. Okay, this is important. You need to start to get this and really look at it in a real world way. Now, we talked about all this stuff, okay? Again, if you want the 41 backlink uh, report, downloadmynotes.com. It's on my blog right now. You just go there, put your name and email. Boom, you'll get that. You'll be ready to go. Press releases, very good way. Again, focus. Because if I see that this ranks, this is the strategy that I taught this guy directly. I went to him. I said, hey, when you do a press release. Now, he didn't listen to me on the titling, but he did listen to me on the other stuff. And I said, what I want you to do is I want you to put all the different pre-workouts on there. Does anyone know why I told him that? Does anyone know why? The reason is because if I could do that, we can find out where he lands. Find out where he lands. It's not intent. 
It's to find out where he lands. And now we know he lands for guerrilla mode. Now we know if he takes this and tweaks it or even does another press release just about the guerrilla mode, he will rank. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when, because he got a 44 without even trying. Why? Because the press release site was, was valuable. Does everyone get that? Smash the like button if you're getting it. Type get it. Let me know. Because if you get this, your world of getting traffic is about to change. Okay? Very important. Now, let's get into number five here, which is my favorite way to get backlinks. And that is to buy domains with backlinks. And here's the deal. If you stack all this, it gets so much easier. I would have never been able to go and get the rankings I got without the domain nerd getting fit. It would have taken forever. So what I do is I'm constantly, always, always going through to GoDaddy auctions and other sites, right? And I'm going through and I'm like, hey, I wanna get domains that work, like this one, Leather Depot. All right, I was like, wait a minute. So we got this Leather-Depot, all right, and you, this will be like a little secret of where I get my fashion tips, right? Because if people want to dress like a stud, this is what they do, right? It, it, I'm not, I'm actually not kidding, right? These people are out there and they're like, how to dress like a stud. And they're out there, 600 people searching them up. Now, with this domain name that I bought yesterday, we could see that people want to dress like studs. Like 2,500 people a month want stud outfits, uh, how to look like a stud. Well, don't follow Marcus's outfit tips because, I don't know. I, I got a miniature motorbike. Maybe I'm kind of a stud. I don't know, right? But you got to look at this. And you're like, hey, here's all this stuff. Now, why does this work? Why was this domain worth the 155 bucks? And I want you guys to answer this, okay? I want you, if you're following along, smash a like button and type 155 when you think this domain is worth 155. Well, first of all, what I did is I looked at the keywords and I'm like, okay, people are looking for all this stud outfits, big buff guy stuff or whatever, right? So we look at this and we're like, here's all the stuff. So it links to a product, which is the outfits. Good, that works. Now I go to Sturgis with that mini bike. I don't know, man, I think I can only get like 30 miles per tank or something. I'd, I'd have to bring like a trailer of gas on my little bike. But we look at this and we're like, okay, here we have these links. Now, when we look at these rankings, we're gonna also look at the backlinks, okay? So we're gonna go through the backlinks and we're like, wait a minute, check this out. So now we got a data box, okay, we got uh, optimized something. Now, we have some other stuff. Here's a trade one. Here's one about Home Depot outfits. Here's e-commerce. And then we go through and we're gonna see other people that are linking to this site, which used to be a men's leather depot weather site, or weather site, uh, uh, outfit site, okay? Leather site, I think is what I was looking for, right? And now we look at this and we're like, okay, this has all these outfits, this ranks. So, if I take this site and I build it up, I could get lots of traffic for this stuff, okay? Very important. Uh, the case study for Fitness Nerd, it's still going on. We were talking about it earlier. All right, well, we look at this and we're like, okay, now we have all this stuff about dress like a stud, alpha male outfits, what do they wear? And we can actually build this stuff. We could build this site up to make it work, right? Does everyone get that it's worth it? Okay, type 155 if you get it. Like, of course it's worth it. I could literally put some content up today. It'll probably rank in the next day or so. And I could build that up for a leather site. Very important. Now, I'm always buying these things and you gotta look at what the value is of these domains. Because some of them, like Las Vegas Limo, that one was easy. It's probably a Las Vegas company buying the domain for 10 grand. So yeah, that one's easy to see. Now, when we look at this, this one's not as easy to see, but I'm out there and I'm buying these all the time. And when you look at it, 
let me show you. Let me get my, I gotta enter a code here. All right. And I'll show you um, how it works. This code times out way too much. Okay, um, so when we look at this, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and say, okay, well, what kind of domains does Marcus buy? You guys want to see what I buy? It's pretty cool. And when you go to GoDaddy Auctions, what we're going to do, what I usually do is I go here like this, and I'm going to go uh, time left because I have no patience, okay? And I'm going to see what's here. Now, usually what I'll do is I'll look at the traffic, and I'll see what's going on, like open house. Uh, that's probably good for, like, real estate, uh, graphy, that might be a graphics one. It's pretty expensive. Um, some kind of travel site. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these. I'm going to put them into my keyword tool. And I'm going to see what I could do with it. And here's the deal. The key is to go through and just be curious. Like, hey, what, what's going on here? All right, what kind of keywords do they have? What kind of movements do they have? What kind of backlinks do they have? Is there anything of value? So for this one, it ranks for Gray's Travel, which only gets 30 searches a month. Eh, it's not that good, right? Now, is it worth what it's on sale for? 165? Eh, probably not. Maybe. I have to look at the backlinks. All right, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to look at stuff that has things that we can do. Okay, so apartment locators, yeah, I might be able to use that. That might be valuable, right? We take a look, look at the backlinks. Now, if you look at some of the ones that I get, just go to the ones that I won recently, and I'm literally buying these all the time. All right, here's one for wpcaptain.com. wpcaptain.com, I was like, hey, check this out. This is one that ranks for WordPress blogs. This is easy. I could go out there, I could sell web hosting, I could sell WordPress stuff, I could do all kinds of stuff. Reviews, JVZoo, ClickBank, whatever. Boom, here we go. Right? So we look at this and we're like, okay, it's got some rankings. WordPress blog layout plugin. All right, the traffic's not huge, but the fact that it's in this market and the fact that the backlinks are good, yes, I could build this up, I can make it work. Okay, very simple. Look at WordPress Mayor, uh, iBlogZone. These are all super relevant. Right, super relevant. So we look at this and we're like, hey, was that worth 307? Yeah, I think it was. Here's another one, wordrecovery.net. This one, I'm like, wait a minute. So here's one I got, wordrecovery.net. And I'm taking a look at this because it all has sites about like how to recover uh, Word documents. And my thinking is, hey, this goes to like Windows data. It goes to like, uh, download stuff. This links to a product that I could sell for word recovery. Like they got their word file, it's broken, and I'm going to help them recover it. And we could look at the keywords. Okay, we look at organic keywords for the ones it ranks for now. Pretty good. And we look at the movements for ones it ranked for before. And we could build these up and we can make it work. Here's one, recover lost word document. Uh, MS Word errors, how to extract images from Word, how to restore a document. This is traffic that leads to stuff that I can sell. Type sell if you guys get it. And as a business person, again, remember, you're a business person first. SEO is a strategy you use. But you're a business person. You want to make money. So when I look at this, I'm like, can I make money with something like the Word one? Or the leather one, or even the CPA guy, right? This was like an old uh, accountant. And I was like, hey, check this out. We go through, look at what he used to rank for. And we're like, okay. Uh, car leasing tax deduction. Gross, this is good. Like I could go through and I could do all kinds of accounting terms. I could do a good job because chances are this guy wasn't an SEO guy. He probably had no idea what he was doing. But it's a local site, which means his backlinks are probably like local chamber of commerce and whatever, right? So I can use this. And again, make sure you do this ethically. Make sure that you make good content and make sure that you provide things people want, right? And we go through and I'm like, okay, yeah, I could provide a good article on 
um, you know, uh, certain accounting things or, or uh, whatever it is. Car leasing tax deduct. That'd be a good one. Boom. You could probably make good money off of just car leasing tax deduction. Right? I could go through and say, okay, I'm going to do keyword explorer and I'll do car deduction. Boom. Here we go. Car deduction. Yeah, I, this, this has got some volume. Right? We go through, we do view all, and we could see it's got 15,000 people a month looking for variations of car tax deduction. There we go. I get this traffic. If I get 10,000 visitors, I could probably make money. And check this out. Check this out. If you go to SpyFu, right, this is the way that I think. And I want to teach you the way that I think so that you could get past all the junk and all the fluff that doesn't work, right? I want you guys to understand this. Don't buy my stuff till you know what's going on, right? Once you know what's going on, then if you want to buy my stuff, that's cool. So we look at this and we're like, okay, uh, donate car. I'm going to put this in SpyFu and I want to show you something because the word donate car pays a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. And we look at that and we're like, hey, check this out. So I could build this up about donating cars. I could lead them to ads that, that pay a lot of money. And boom, there we go. How many of you guys are starting to see this type? Think like a business person. Okay, very important. Uh, Deborah says, would WordPress site be more valuable as a build and keep because of the lucrative affiliate? Well, I think that any domain is going to be more valuable as a build and keep, unless you're just buying it for the domain. For example, one of the ones that I bought, uh, let me go to the GoDaddy appraisal. One of the ones I bought was logos.me. Okay, this one has no backlinks. It's got nothing. But I bought it a lot cheaper than 5,600 bucks. I'm going to sell it and I'm going to flip it. Okay, why? Because it has no backlinks. Like there's no, there's no inherent value in this domain other than the fact that it's logos.me. Now, what if I told you guys that this one's worth a lot? People are buying these. And what if I told you I bought this for less than 500 bucks? Right? That's a flipper. That's all I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to flip it. Why? No backlinks. Nothing really, nothing, nothing to write home about. But I bought it because I'm like, damn, logos.me. Yeah, I could sell this. Yeah, I could sell it. Pretty cool. Right? There's probably someone on this call that would buy it for more than 500 bucks. All right? And so we look at this and we're like, okay, this is how it works. This is what's going on. Now, when we're doing our content and everything, we have to look at this and we have to understand what's going on. Now, Ben says, can I still rank for keyword movements two years ago? It is possible because, again, here's the deal. All that matters is, is the link still there? All right, so if you had backlinks two years ago, if the domain had backlinks two years ago, those backlinks still exist, okay? And if your link is still there, it's going to pick your site up. Now, will it boost it to the top? I don't know. We have to check it. The search engine is a different place now than it was two years ago. But I got to tell you, not much changes. People freak out about all this stuff going on with search engines, but it really doesn't do all that much unless you're doing things shady. It's the only time it matters. If you're doing shady stuff, yeah. That's what the updates are designed to do is to get shady stuff out. So if I'm out there buying a bunch of expired domain names, pointing to them to spam or junk that's not relevant, yeah, it's not going to work. But if I'm out there and I'm really focusing on this link goes here, this is why I want the traffic, here's what I'm going to do with it, then we'll make it work. Okay? Very, very important. So we got to look at it and we got to understand it. Now, when we talk about boosters and backlinks, this is when you are deliberately trying to boost something up. So if I have a new post, let's say I got a blog or a site, okay, we're going to go through. And I'll be like, okay, here's my new content. What am I going to do? Let's say my new content is about, um, let's say it's about Windows error codes. Okay? What am I going to do here? Well, if I want backlinks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Keyword Explorer. 
I'm gonna look at Windows. Let's do error code, okay? We're gonna go error code. So GeForce Experience error code. All right, so we're gonna look at this and we're gonna say, what is ranking now? Okay, here we go. We got here, NVIDIA, which I think NVIDIA is a forum, which means we can probably post on it. Yeah, it looks like this is a forum, right? And people are linking. So we could post on here and we could probably get some kind of link. We can also go through and say, well, you know, here's YouTube. Okay, that would work. Here is mini tool and we can actually go through and we can look at the backlinks of these pages. So if we go to this guy, we're like, okay, let's look at the backlinks of what this page has. Cause that's the page that's ranking. doesn't matter what the domain authority is. It matters what this page gets. Okay. 1200 keywords. It's got some, some backlinks here and you could see, okay, uh, some junk, some good stuff, tech gaming stuff. So he's posting on forums, $5 site. Don't know what that is. Uh, $5 site actually coming up a lot. Interesting. I don't know what $5 site is. I'd have to check that out. Has no follow, but it's still giving it some, some boost. Add blog link. So it looks like he's doing some interesting types of backlinking here. Compare your keywords. So not a whole lot. If I got some directory listings, some forum listings, maybe a YouTube video, boom, I'm going to be ready to go. Okay. Very important. Very simple. Okay, so boosters are where we're going to go through and maybe I'll do YouTube, maybe I'll do a press release. Like if I had a site about this GeForce error and I did a press release about it, okay, again, be careful with your, your trademarks, but I just want you to get this idea. I could probably get quite a bit of traffic or if I want to be smart, you guys ready for a good tip? See, I told you, stick around for the entire call. You're going to learn some good stuff. What I would do is I would go through and I'd say, okay, I'm gonna do a press release about error codes. And I'm gonna be like, hey, new software helps with error codes. Then I'm gonna list out the uh, Windows error code or whatever it is, okay? And I'm gonna get all these here and be like, here's all the error codes. Boom, GeForce. I'll get uh, uh, anything Windows related because that's what I'm gonna sell is stuff like that, error code this, error code that. I'm going to get all these error codes. I'm going to put them on my press release. I'm going to see which one ranks. I'm going to link them back, link them to my website. And boom, it's going to all start to pick up. And guess what I'm going to get in addition to my link boosters? I'm also going to get data on what starts to rank. That's where the gold is. That's where the gold has always been. Everyone's flipping out about backlinks and this and that. Look at the data, adjust and grow. And if you understand this, smash that like button, let me know, because now we can go in and we can do these boosters. Now, another tip to look at is when we look at internal links. Internal links are when you link to different content on your site, right? So you go through and you're like, okay, I'm talking about this weight loss supplement. I'm going to link to my page on weight loss supplements, or I'm talking about this. I'm going to link to my page on this. Internal links are important. They're very important if you understand them, right? So you got it. You got to link internally also. Now, some other things we got to look at, which is important. I think it's a tip down here. There was a tip I had. Let me make sure it reloaded on there. Okay, it was on there somewhere. Uh, there it is. Backlinks to other sites. Now, this is something no one talks about because again, as a businessman, all I want is traffic. What if you got backlinks to your press release? Or what if you're an Amazon seller and you got backlinks to your Amazon page? Now you're getting backlinks to a page that has backlinks, which is going to boost it up. Even though it's not your site, if you own the page on the site, you're going to get the traffic. Think about that. Nobody talks about that. Because they're all talking about, oh, we're going to do this. And, and what we have to understand is that sometimes SEO people are not necessarily business people. Sometimes they're just SEO people. But we have to look at this as a business. And we have to look at this as what do I want to get? What's the ultimate outcome that I want? Is it a number one in Google? Well, maybe, maybe not. 
Maybe that's not the be all end all. Maybe the be all end all is I just want traffic from this term or I just want this. And if we can backlink other sites, backlink stuff to, you know, uh, a Pinterest, right? If you got a bunch of directories or forums pointing to the Pinterest, hell yeah, that's going to get picked up. If you got a backlinks linking to your Amazon, hell yeah, that's going to get picked up. You want proof of it. If we do uh, weird things you can buy on Amazon, and you, you do that, let's see, weird things you can buy on Amazon. This might get weird stuff, so I'll do it off camera first. Uh, but if you go and you look at weird things you can buy on Amazon, they're linking to the Amazon thing, which boosts it up in the search engine, which makes more sales, right? Does that make sense to everyone? And like Zendor says, that's what I do on my site and on my print on demand accounts. Exactly. Because if I have a page on a domain that's going to rank like Amazon ranks for damn near everything and I can boost that up. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's not my site. If I'm getting the result of sales, that's what matters. Right. Does that make sense? Type sales if that if that makes sense. Where do I put the press releases on press release websites? Yeah, you're going to go and like prweb.com, that's where you'd put it, right? And if you start to understand this, this is where it starts to change. Now, when he did his press release, uh, he linked the Gorilla Mode one to a Gorilla Mode post on his site, which was smart. That's good. He can link all these two posts on his site and start to get them picked up, uh, which will get them picked up. It will. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And to me, my favorite way, an easy way to get backlinks is one, buy sites, and two, make a tool. Because if you look at this, if you were to go and you look at, uh, let's see if we could put this in here. Simpleblogtheme.com. Um, if you put this in here for um, backlinks, okay, now I have it as a redirect right now, but I should build a site on it. But if you look at uh, backlinks here, this has lots of backlinks. And what it is, is I just built the simple blog theme which if you use simple blog theme, what I did is on the bottom of the theme, it says simple blog theme, right? So like if I go to a site that's using simple blog theme, uh, let me see if one of these does. Hold on one second. I just want to make sure it works right. Yeah, so like this guy here with his cleaner site, see how on the bottom here I made this tool and it says uh, built with simpleblogtheme.com and it links back to me. So every page that uses this is going to give me a backlink. And all I had to do, it literally took me like an hour to make that theme. I give it to people and boom, there we go. So if you can make a tool or something of value, like that's why sometimes WordPress plugins make you link back to them, which is kind of cool. Uh, someone says try Fiverr for a press. Don't ever trust uh, Fiverr to press to write your press releases because um, that's not they're not going to do the keyword re research and they're not going to make it the way that you want um, you could use like iWriter or something but for press releases if you want the traffic you know make it yourself because nobody's going to do it the way that that the traffic says all right so very very important these are ways that you could go through and you can get backlinks and make it easy and build up sites that work really well. Now, um, also, you can check out Download My Notes for notes on this training. You can go to blogprofitnetwork.com um, for uh, the training also if you want to join the training. And then if you want some of the domains, we actually have the domains that I buy. I sell some of them. Some of them I keep. Some of them I sell. Right now, we are selling some of them as part of our, um, our boot camp. So in addition to the domain, we're going to give you content. We're going to set it up. We're going to teach you for 16 weeks, right? So you get your domain. We get you ranked. We get you set up. We get you started. And then we take all of the people who joined and we go through the whole process for 16 weeks, show you what to do, right? Very simple, very easy. You just got to go through and you got to make it work. If you want to check those out, just go over to domains.blogprofitnetwork.com, right? Like this. And you can see uh, these six domains, like this one here, 11th step, right? You want to be in the recovery niche, which is expensive. Look at this one. This one has rankings. It's got backlinks all for uh, the recovery niche, right? So 11th step, we go through. It's got the backlinks. 
it's got some rankings. So if you were going to set this up for like a resource site for uh, steps or step four, uh, you know, uh, that content or, or um, whatever it is, right? This is all about alcoholism and recovery, which is very simple. Uh, the premium boot camp is starting in February. Uh, we want it, we're going to start it a little bit later because we want you guys um, to have everything set up, ready to go, get it ranking, get some results, and then we're going to start it. So like this one, we would set it up. I'd go through, I'd find the keywords that, that uh, I know we can rank on. I'm going to get you some content. You're going to get the domains. You're going to set up. Uh, this one here, word recovery, we already went over that. This one for spirit authors. This is for people who want to be authors of, of books. High profit market. Uh, the WordPress one. The Smokehouse one. All kinds of stuff. So you could go there, domains.blogprofitnetwork.com. You could choose a domain. You can go through the whole process. And we'll walk you through it. And you just go through and you make it work, which is pretty cool. Um, very simple. And if you learn this stuff, this is the stuff we're going to go through in boot camp. And in boot camp you're going to go through it with me. So you're going to go, you're going to do the work. You're going to come back on the next week. You're going to show me what you did. We're going to look at the results together. We're going to go through and I'll show you how to make it work. Like this guy did a press release and I'm like, dude, you're right there. You're right on the tip. You just need to go here and get the traffic and very, very important. And um, that's what we're looking at. This is real world stuff. This isn't theory. This isn't junk. This isn't something I've never tried. This is something I've been doing for 22 years, 22 years. You look at it, it started from the beginning. I went through, I was like, hey, here's how it works. I started with a cigar site, got it ranked. I wondered why it got ranked. So I reverse engineered it and learned it. And I went through and I made it work. Now, if you don't know what domain you want and you wanna join the bootcamp, you could just go over to uh, simplesitesbootcamp.com. I think, let me put it on the screen here. I wasn't planning on selling stuff, so let me see. Notepad. There we go. Um, simple simplesitesbootcamp.com. Um, and in simplesitesbootcamp.com, we will get you a domain. We'll make sure that before we start, we get you a domain you like. I got a lot of them. I buy these all the time, right? I bought like three this morning. Okay, so in simplesitesbootcamp.com, you can go there, you can join. We'll get you the domain. We get you set up with the content. We get you literally everything and walk you through it. And also, if you want to hang out, one of the bonuses of joining boot camp is you get to come to an Orlando meeting, which is pretty cool. Uh, after 22 years, you got a captain's chair. Well, I got this because my other chair, at the end of the day, I was like, I was hurting in places. I shouldn't be hurting. So I got this one and it's a recliner and it's nice. Uh, but pretty cool. And I actually have a site about gaming chairs, um, which is cool, right? There's there's uh, backlinks and everything. And if you want that one in bootcamp, just go to simplesitesbootcamp.com. Uh, bootcamp is going to start in the beginning of February. Um, I want to make sure everyone's sites are ready to go before then, so I don't have the exact date. Um, but you will get coaching in the beginning. Um, so really cool. Simplesitesbootcamp.com. Unlike anything you've ever seen, um, it is limited, because, I mean, obviously, I don't want, like, 1,500 people in here because I can't set up 1,500 sites and I can't help them. So it's going to be, I think, 30 people we're doing this time, something like that. And you're all going to get uh, one of the domains, and you guys could see. Uh, I got some really good domains, like one of the Remodel with Confidence, I think, was one someone else got. Uh, we have couponing. This is actually a really good one for couponing. The leather one, the CPA one. Um, those are all available as well. And you could do uh, simplesitesbootcamp.com. Just tell me what you want. If it's available, we'll get it for you. We set it up with content. We walk you through it. So for, uh, you get a year of support. So until 2023, you get to be on the calls. You get to get help. You get all the stuff. Um, and it's really good. So simplesitesbootcamp.com, or you could go to, um, domains.blogprofitnetwork.com. And you could get there, those there as well. Um, but I hope you guys got a lot of good info in this call about how backlinks work. I know there's a lot of misconception and junk out there that doesn't really teach you the goods, doesn't really give you the stuff you need. This is 
hopefully going to help you, right? You're going to want to watch this a couple times because there's some stuff you probably missed. And when you understand how backlinks work, why they work, and what your ultimate goal is, which is getting traffic, that's where everything fits together. So hop over to simplesitesbootcamp.com if you want to sign up um, and then pick a domain later or domains.blogprofitnetwork.com um, if you want to pick one of those domains and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thanks for being here, guys. Go get some backlinks. Let's make some money. Uh, if you got any questions, get Lauren on live chat um, and uh, we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thanks, guys. See you in bootcamp.